The Star Wars crossover is here, and there's a lot of controversy surrounding this patch. The crossovers themselves are mythic crossovers, which means they're going to be more expensive than regular crossovers. We also got new lightsaber weapon skins with custom sound effects that may or may not grant a competitive advantage. We also got the new map Mustafar, which is obviously a just for fun, non-competitive map. I would love to have seen a static version of this map that we can use for tournaments and 1v1 settings. We also got a balance patch alongside these Star Wars crossovers, and they buff sword and spear? The crossovers themselves are really cool, shout out to Brahalla for hooking me up with all four crossover skins, but I think we need to talk about the sound effects of these signatures. The SFX on these crossover signatures are so unbelievably quiet. I can't help but feel like this will give you a competitive advantage over someone who relies on audio cues. Just listen to Ahsoka's sound effects compared to Azuri. The same goes for the light attacks on the sword and the katars. It's just so quiet and it has to be confusing to your opponent. But the fact that they got Star Wars in the game is honestly unbelievable. Brawlhalla is slowly becoming the Fortnite of fighting games. We got Spongebob, Kung Fu Panda, Ninja Turtles, Star Wars. I wouldn't be surprised if we had Walter White and Shrek by next year. But as always, I had to make some awesome team combos with the new crossover skins. This time I made these team combos with Panda Man. Definitely make sure to check him out and give him some love. But check out these crazy Anakin and Darth Vader team combos.